Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about mineral metabolism. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So in today's video, we will cover uh, introduction to mineral metabolism and different uh, minerals and their clinical significance and the functions in the human body. Minerals are essential nutrients that are required by the body in small amounts to perform a variety of functions and to maintain good health. So these are very essential for the body to proper functioning. So they are present in a variety of foods and play important roles in maintaining health of the body. So to maintain a healthy body and for the proper functioning of the body, minerals are very essential. The mineral nutrients can be classified into two types. They are macro minerals and micro minerals. The micro minerals are also known as trace elements. So let's look at the three major uh, macro minerals they are uh, sodium potassium and chloride let's look into each one of these in detail first one is sodium sodium is an essential mineral that plays a number of important roles in the body and it helps to regulate fluid balance maintain uh, normal blood pressure and support proper nerve and muscle function so these are the uh, major functions of sodium the normal serum uh, sodium level is between 135 to 145 milli equivalents per liter this is the normal range of uh, sodium present in the human body if any change is there it will cause problems in the body dietary sources for uh, sodium include uh, table salt animal foods milk and some vegetables and the recommended daily allowance uh, or the recommended intake is 1 to 5 grams per day for a normal individual. The sodium is absorbed from a small intestine and transported through the bloodstream to the cells and tissue throughout the body. So that's how it is uh, reached into the uh, different cells and the body closely regulates the amount of sodium in the bloodstream by adjusting the amount of sodium that is excreted by the kidney. So a proper balance is required. The metabolism of uh, sodium is closely tied to the metabolism of water. When the body is low on sodium, it will retain water in an attempt to maintain normal electrolyte balance and when the body is high on sodium it will excrete uh, excess water to maintain the normal electrolyte balance and it is extremely important to maintain this balance the factors uh, that can affect uh, sodium metabolism include uh, include uh, the intake of uh, sodium through diet and intake of water and certain medication or medical conditions so these are the factors that can affect the uh, so sodium metabolism certain uh, medical conditions or uh, Certain medication can increase or decrease the levels of sodium in the body. And if you take uh, high salt food, uh, the body will try to excrete or cause uh, the water retention in the body. So that these are the factors that can affect the uh, sodium metabolism. And it's important to maintain a healthy and balance of uh, sodium in the body to support overall health. So it is extremely important to maintain the proper uh, balance of the sodium. And uh, the functions of sodium include... Uh, uh, maintaining osmotic pressure and water balance it's a constant of uh, buffer and involved in the maintenance of uh, acid ba acid base balance to maintain the uh, ph levels and it maintains muscle and uh, nerve uh, irritability at the proper level so clinical condition that can arise uh, uh, with, due to the change in the levels of sodium are uh, hypernatremia and hyponatremia so these are the clinical conditions where the levels of sodium goes out of the normal range Hypernatremia is an increase in sodium uh, serum sodium concentration above the normal range whereas hyponatremia is a condition where the uh, there is a significant fall in the sodium concentration below the normal range so once it uh, this level of sodium goes below the normal range it is called a hyponatremia and the condition in which uh, where the sodium concentration goes above the normal range is called hypernatremia coming to the uh, next mineral that is potassium uh, the potassium is the main intracellular cation and the normal serum potassium level is between 3.5 to 5.5 milli equivalents per liter potassium helps in to regulate the heart function maintain normal blood pressure and also support the proper functioning of the muscles the dietary source include vegetables fruits whole grains meat milk legumes etc and the uh, recommended daily allowance is 2 to 5 grams per day. So these are the uh, facts about the potassium and uh, the allowed recommended uh, daily allowance is 2 to 5 grams per day. Like sodium, potassium is uh, absorbed from the small intestine and transported through the bloodstream to cells and tissue throughout the body. And the body closely regulates the amount of potassium in the bloodstream by adjusting the amount of potassium that is excreted by the kidney. So kidney uh, play a key role in um, maintaining the, the electrolytes, both uh, sodium, potassium and the chloride. 
so it is extremely important to maintain uh, in that particular range that is 3.5 to 5.5 a small change in this range can also uh, cause uh, health issues the metabolism of potassium is closely tied to the metabolism of sodium when the body is low on potassium it will retain sodium in an attempt to maintain a normal electrolyte balance and when the body is high on potassium it will excrete sodium to maintain the normal electrolyte balance potassium maintains uh, intracellular osmotic pressure water balance and acid base balance so these are the functions and it influences the activity of cardiac and skeletal muscles so it is extremely important to maintain a good uh, level of uh, potassium uh, for the proper functioning of uh, cardiac and skeletal muscles potassium is required for uh, transmission of nerve impulses and uh, several glycolytic enzymes need potassium for their formation so these are uh, extremely important uh, for the proper functioning of uh, body uh, the clinical condition that may arise due to the increase or decrease uh, of uh, potassium levels are called hyperkalemia and hypokalemia so the hyperkalemia is a condition where the serum potassium concentration is above the normal range whereas hypokalemia is a condition where the there is a significant uh, uh, reduction or level a low level of uh, potassium in the uh, from the normal range coming to chloride chloride it is a major anion in the extracellular fluid space and the normal serum chloride level is between 95 to 105 milli equals per liter the main function of chloride is to help regulate the fluid balance maintain normal blood pressure and also support the digestion the dietary sources include uh, table salt leaf vegetables eggs and milk and the recommended daily allowance is 2 to 5 grams per day chloride is absorbed from the small intestine and transported through the blood stream to cells and tissue throughout the body and the body closely regulates the amount of chloride in the blood stream by adjusting the amount of chloride that is excreted by the kidneys a kidney plays a major role uh, in maintaining this balance so when when the person is with having a uh, chronic kidney disease so the balance of this will goes out of range and that can significantly impact the health the metabolism of uh, chloride is uh, closely related to the the metabolism of sodium and potassium when uh, body is low on chloride it will retain sodium in an attempt to maintain normal electrolyte balance when the body is high on chloride it will excrete uh, excess sodium to maintain the normal electrolyte balance and the functions of sodium include uh, water balance maintaining proper balance uh, uh, water balance regulation of osmotic pressure and acid base balance chloride is necessary for the formation of hcl by gastric mucosa and for uh, the activation of enzyme amylase so that's why uh, it is helping in uh, digestion and it is also involved in the chloride shift the clinical condition uh, uh, arises due to the change in the levels of chloride or uh, hypercholeremia and uh, hypercholeremia and these are the condition where the levels of uh, chloride goes out of the range hypercholeremia is a increase in the uh, serum chloride level from the normal range and hypercholeremia is the significant fall in the chloride level from the normal range here you can see in this uh, table uh, comparing the uh, different minerals and their normal range and uh, daily allowance uh, required to maintain the healthy balance uh, and the proper functioning of the body so in summary minerals are inorganic elements having vital structure and functional roles in the human body and uh, sodium is a major cation of extracellular fluid while uh, potassium is of intracellular fluids and chloride is principal anion of the body sodium potassium and chloride have important role in maintaining osmotic pressure water and, and electrolyte balance so it is extremely important uh, to have uh, the levels in the normal range to maintain osmotic pressure water balance and the electrolyte balance i would like to end uh, today's topic with a famous quote from uh, and joseph reynold uh, raymond that uh, the diet is the essential key to all successful healing thanks for watching if you like the video please share it with your friends and we will see you in the next video wish you all a very happy new year